I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Agri Organics. In this video, we will see one of the important information and the common mistakes that most of the students are doing in ICR counseling registration and the document uploading. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to give agriculture education related videos and ICR counseling videos in English since 2021. You can share our channel with your friends also. So here the important thing is the documents that you ought to have to upload under the degree certificate or your course completion certificate. So here in PG and PhD information bulletin, ICR has clearly mentioned that you have to get the certificate from the Register of Concerned University. So that is an important thing. Here I will clearly read this. Here in the list of documents you have to upload at the time of counseling and physical reporting. Here the important document is final year mark sheet or grade reports related to UG bachelor's degree or certificate from the Register of Concerned University. So this is what they have mentioned in this third point so you can note down this one clearly so similarly they have given for phd also for the phd program in this page here again in this third point you can clearly note down that final year marker grade reports related to pg or master's degree certificate from the register of concern university so this also they have mentioned the register only so here they have given this in note so for pg we can see first so for pg here in the first point they have given in the footnote the candidates must complete the graduation degree in all respects and should have all the degree completion requirements and pdc on or before 10 9 2024 so this date now has been updated to 25th september so that all may know and a proof of this has to be produced at the time of online verification by the documents by the provisionally allotted university so for this online verification you have to upload a document or the certificate regarding this so you can upload pdc if you have got that is provisional degree certificate or you can get course completion certificate from register of the concerned university you can clearly note down they have not mentioned like your dean or college principal or hod like that they have mentioned only from the register so that one you have to note down clearly during counseling failing which they will not be considered for admission so if you have not uploaded this one course completion certificate or pdc or um, your final semester mark sheet so you will not be considered for admission no correspondence shall be entertained by the council in this regard at the time of online verification of documents by the allotted university the candidates will be required to produce provisional degree certificate or degree of qualifying graduate examination issued by the university for this purpose so in the document uploading you have to give this provisional degree certificate of your ug if you are applying for pg you have to give this for ug or the degree of qualifying graduate examination issued by the university for this purpose that is your register so you have to get this uh, certificate only from the register so that is that course completion certificate in that they will indicate that uh, the student has completed all the examinations and they have completed all the courses and they are eligible for award of this degree before 25th september of 2024 that is what you want for application to msc similarly for phd so this is the phd counseling brochure i will explain clearly the candidates must complete the postgraduate in all respects and should have all the degree completion requirements or pdc on or before 10 9 2024 this also now updated to 25th september so you no need to worry but you should have completed before 25th september only and a proof of this has to be produced at the time of online verification that is what we have seen for your pg so similarly they have given for phd also that is for phd admission also so next here the important thing is the candidates who do not have the pdc or degree have to mandatorily produce a certificate from the registrar of concerned university okay so this is an important thing so they mentioned that registrar you have to note down this one and specifically indicating that the candidate has fulfilled all the requirements for the award of master's degree including thesis submission so you have to some you should have submitted your thesis before that time and you should have got the certificate before that time next com or completion of five hours or his or her final ogpa or percentage of the marks at the end of the semester or year on or before 10 9 2024 that is it is updated to 25th september okay so here they have clearly mentioned that you should have completed your all master's coursework including thesis submission and you should have completed your final viva was also before 25th september so that is what they have mentioned and you have to get this course completion certificate from registrar only from the registrar not from any other authorities so this is okay so here now you may have 
came to a conclusion that they have to get the certificate from the registrar of the university that is okay but for example you got the certificate from any other authority such as your dean okay dean or principal or someone and you are uploading the document to icr portal for document verification okay so if you consider some universities they are verifying your document and they are rejecting that because icr has mentioned that you should do get this from registrar of that concerned university okay so they are rejecting your document so now you cannot claim that i have uploaded this course completion certificate that i got from my college principal or college dean like that you should have got from your registrar so this is okay next the next very very important point is you cannot go for upgradation because university has already rejected your certificate rejected your admission okay the that particular the university which you have been allotted during the first round counseling is the verification with authority for icr so they will verify the documents and they will check whether you are eligible for this admission or not regardless of university okay so you cannot go for upgradation also that is the icr has clearly mentioned in that upgradation map up round eligibility so you cannot go for map up round also this is one important thing so if you have not yet got or not yet received any certificate like this so if you have not yet got from the register of your university please try to get those certificates from the register if you have not yet received the certificates from register of your university so you get from register of university only not from any other authority because once the university once the allotted university rejected your admission you cannot go for upgradation also and you cannot go for map up round also this is the important thing because most of the students will be facing this issue so we are seeing this issue for a long time and some of our channel subscribers are asking they belong to obc or ewjs category but they attended the exam in general and uh, they have got their general rank only but now they got their ewjs and obc ncl certificate whether it shall be change our category in this like that but uh, one thing i will tell if you change now then the verification authority may cross check your uh, rank card and uh, your category what you have updated now and uh, they may cancel also so best thing is once you can inquire regarding this in icr helpline number so whatever may be the doubt you can inquire through icr helpline number or uh, icr mail because icr has clearly mentioned this in their counseling brochure so you can contact uh, icr helpline number only because these doubts cannot be answered by us and another thing is if you are having any doubt you can contact icr helpline number and uh, even if you are having any doubt of your eligibility also you can contact uh, that specific university only and you can directly inquire to icr that is what we have mentioned in our previous videos also because uh, icr clearly mentioned that if admission is rejected icr will not be responsible for that only the candidate will be responsible for that so as a candidate you have to take care of these things being in youtube and guiding many students more than 200 students it's very difficult for me to help everyone individually so if you are having any problem like this you can directly contact icr and you can solve the problem